So what is Shane Waldron's new Seahawk offense? We've heard all about it, but we haven't seen it. And it's basis it's the West Coast offense. It's the 2021 updated evolution of Bill Walsh's system way back to the 1970s when he was a top assistant with Paul Brown and the Cincinnati Bengals. Walsh then took it to San Francisco as a first time head coach, built a dynasty with the 49ers in the 1980s and Super Bowl titles with this offense. Mike Holmgren, a disciple of Walsh's, then took it to Green Bay, won a Super Bowl with the Packers, came to Seattle with the West Coast offense and his tweaks to it, and then went to Seattle's first Super Bowl in 2005. Now it's evolved since then. In its basis, this new offense is Bill Walsh's original 49er system from 50 years ago. And I'm gonna show you three plays to illustrate how there is a common thread here. The catch, the most famous Paul Bill Walsh play probably of them all, the one 1981 NFC Championship game. How is this one gonna end? Montana lines up at the five. And on third down and three, he rolls right looking to throw. Looking to throw, and he throws into the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown! Touchdown, Sam! Montana under center, split backs offset to the right, a tight end to the left, stayed in for blocking on this third and three. Notice the two wide receivers split. So 21 personnel, two backs, one tight end, and two wide receivers, a standard set in the West Coast offense. Freddie Solomon was inside on the slot. He was actually the primary receiver, as Walsh explained it later. This play was designed to be an extended rollout for Joe Montana to allow Dwight Clark the time to rub off Solomon's cornerback that was head up on him on the line of scrimmage. Well, what happened was, and the reason why Dwight Clark got the catch and not Freddie Solomon, was the Clark rub-off didn't work. And Solomon's man stayed with him on a four-yard out route to the sidelines, and Joe Montana's original read was covered. So he had to keep extending his roll to the right. The design rollout in Walsh's offense allowed a double move by Clark into on a slant to the end zone and then a drift across the back line of the end zone. You know the rest, the leaping catch. 49ers go to and win their first Super Bowl in the 1981 NFC title game. Mike Holmgren, as I said, a student of Bill Walsh in those San Francisco days, and he kept the basis of the West Coast offense for San Francisco with a few tweaks. One of the biggest tweaks that Holmgren did was institute three wide receivers rather than always two, and he went a lot of single backs with those three wide receivers. So then we started to get 11 personnel, as it's called, one running back in one tight end, or even 12 personnel with two tight ends. But three wide receivers became a staple because Holmgren wanted to create matchup problems with the defense in the secondary with an additional wide receiver and take out a fullback slash halfback. But the basis of Walsh's offense remained, and one of the staples of Holmgren's plays on a third and three in the West Coast offense was this one. Brown right, Brown with the two running backs again as setbacks side by side. B right 23 Y stick. Y is the tight end, and the tight end's here. It's a third and three play where the tight end is the base, the primary read, the number one read on a six yard stick route. Turn and look for the ball, drift to the outside. Quarterback again was Brett Favre, Matt Hasselbeck with the Seahawks under center. Again, not Bill Walsh hated the shotgun. He thought that it was imperative that the quarterback took three, five, and seven step drops to time the wide receiver's routes and throws rather than to stand back there as a sitting target and shotgun and wait for the receivers to run their routes. This play, the halfback, which is directly behind the center, would run a flat into the flat as the second option. The third option was an X receiver, the wide receiver on the line of scrimmage, a six yard slant to the backside and that's if everything is covered to the right. The Z, the flanker who's off the line of scrimmage at the snap, on the front side of the play is just running a clear out slam. This was the primary target in the tight end on the offense and Mike Holmgren's West Coast offense on a third and three play. And this is what he brought to Seattle in the 1990s. The evolution again, more use of the tight end and then more three wide receivers, single backs than Bill Walsh had. Fast forward to 2021, Shane Waldron brings his offense from Sean McVay's staff and the LA Rams to Seattle to be the first time play caller for the Seahawks this season. McVeigh's system is based on Mike Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan's system that Shanahan took from San Francisco, took to Denver in the late 90s, won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. What was different about Shanahan's offense from the Walsh Holmgren 49ers was more zone blocking and the zone reads and inside zone running plays. Waldron has brought that basis of run-based 
offense to Seattle under McVay's slash Shanahan system from the Rams. Two plays I noticed, very few things I saw in the preseason was a harbinger to the regular season, but two plays, back-to-back -back plays in the final preseason game for the Seahawks two weeks ago against the Chargers, really emblematic of how the Waldron West Coast offense has evolved and what it'll look like. Third and three, second quarter, Seahawks are up 14-0. Again, the starters weren't playing in the preseason, but the scheme is what's instructive here. Shotgun, again, the evolution of the Will Walsh offense. Now the 2000 West Coast offense uses shotgun to mask some offensive line protection issues and combat all the blitzing that defenses have done to, as a counter to Walsh's and Holmgren's West Coast system. Geno Smith was a shotgun quarterback on this third and three. Rashad Penny was the single bag because they had three wide receivers in. The Z was actually a X receiver because he was on the line of scrimmage opposite the strength of the formation. This was Penny Hart. A bunch formation tight left. You're gonna see this a lot this season with the Seahawks offense. With the tight end, the Y, the middleman of the three-man bunch. At a slot receiver, a true X on the line of scrimmage, and then the Y offset off the line of scrimmage inside in a bunch formation, not quite as wide as normal wide receivers. You're gonna see this a lot with Gerald Everett as the tight end split out wide this season for Seattle. Third and three, here's the route combination on the front side of the play, a deeper out, a stick route like we saw in the Holmgren offense with the tight end, but now he's split out wide doing the stick in the slot and a shallow drag route across the middle from the wide receiver. You're going to see a lot of that. Think Cooper Cup with the Rams. That's going to be Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf more this season for Seattle. Smith in this play, incidentally, threw to the backside Penny Hart, who was just a clear out throw away go route, and Hart ran the route like he was, wasn't even looking for the ball. Smith tried to throw a back shoulder throw and woefully 10 yards behind him because Hart wasn't looking for the ball. So, incomplete, fourth and four. They come out in the same thing. Walden brings the same thing, but now he moves. The tight end goes up to the line of scrimmage. The X moves off, and now you have an offset bunch with the Y, the tight end, on the line of scrimmage. There's still a bunch left. They come in the same formation on fourth and four, run basically the same look to the Chargers. What's different this time, the slot doesn't do a shallow, but a deeper cross. The tight end, Cam Sutton, does the shallow drag that you're gonna see a lot of to clear out the linebackers. The primary receiver becomes the inside X and he runs the inside stick route past the line to game. Still the same backside, clear out. Penny this time goes in toward the line of scrimmage inside the tackle and goes into the flat as a safety valve in case there's pass rush. There isn't any. Smith throws this time on the inside Completion to the slot receiver for a first down, Aaron Fuller, to the play side, formation side, that probably where the ball should have been on third down as well, at least Penny Hart thought so. But the signature of this is the tight end split out wide in bunch formations, tight bunch formations. Why tight? Why in the slot? To get the defense to have to defend inside and then out. And then the routes will make them have to defend the entire sideline to sideline and give the receivers more room to run, get them over the across the middle more quickly than if they were split out in normal splits. You're gonna see a lot of this this season, and that's the evolution of Shane Waldron's system from way back to Mike Holmgren. Yeah, they're gonna run, have more run base, that's why he's here, but they'll run more out of one back. Yeah, they're gonna have the tight end, but the tight end's gonna be split out wide. Zone base running game from Shanahan and Alex Gibbs, that the Seahawks are gonna have that as well, but you can see how the evolution of the West Coast offense still has the roots and Bill Walsh. When you see Russell Wilson under center a lot more this season, think Bill Walsh in the 1970s and 80s West Coast offense. Thanks for watching.